Welcome, my name is Annie Witt and you're watching the Collegian Report. The Jacks took on the Augustana Vikings last Saturday in the Beef Bowl, which ended with a 24-3 victory for the Jacks. Along with the excitement of another win, the Dana J. Dykehouse Stadium had their largest student attendance in history with over 4,000. This broke the previous record from last week during the win over Incarnate Word. The Jacks next play Southeastern Louisiana University. Kickoff is set for 6 p.m. and you can watch on ESPN+. North Campus Drive will be closed from Adairy Avenue to Agronomy Lane due to work being done at the Biostress Lab. A detour to the Highway 14 bypass will allow access to campus from Adairy Avenue or Stadium Road while pedestrians are able to use the sidewalk on the north of North Campus Drive and cross the street at the crossing located in front of the Animal Science Complex. North Campus Drive is scheduled to reopen at 5 p.m. September 27th. The 22nd Annual Festival of Books is returning to Brookings this weekend. This year's Festival of Books features 66 presenters, including Billy Mills, who famously won a gold medal in his 1964 Olympic race. Another South Dakota writer at the event is Trent Pressler, who released a book titled Little and Often, a memoir, which tells about growing up in South Dakota with his father, who was a Vietnam veteran. And our very own senior lecturer, Amber Jensen, is leading a veterans writing workshop and sharing work with her indigenous Wakini scholar students. Go to sdsucollegian.com for more details. And one presenter will be on our Conversations with Kojo podcast this Friday. John Bakken is a fourth and fifth grade orchestra teacher in Brookings who wrote about South Dakota music. For more on these stories, visit sdsucollegian.com.